Researchers from the National University of Singapore's Mechanobiology Institute MBI will receive $49 million from the National Research Foundation to develop technologies and treatments for age-related conditions. These conditions include infertility, chronic inflammatory diseases, muscle shrinkage and cancer. The funding, which will be used over seven years, was announced at a press conference on January 22. Mechanobiology is an emerging multidisciplinary field that encompasses the study of how cells and tissues sense and respond to mechanical signals or forces. These forces regulate a wide range of biological activities, such as cell migration, cell proliferation and single molecule behavior. Led by Professor Rong Li, Director of MBI, the 150 researchers will be employing state-of-the-art technologies such as high-yield molecular genomics, optical imaging and microfabrication. Among other areas, they will be studying how cells maintain tissue health and respond to injuries and aging. Professor Lee is also spearheading MBI's efforts to discover novel technologies to treat infertility by looking at how tissue mechanics leads to maturation of ovarian follicles. According to her, the cells in a mammalian ovary go through a long and complex developmental process to reach fertilization and develop into an embryo. Recent advances in a variety of technologies have provided new insights into how ovarian cells communicate and drive each step along the pathway to produce a mature egg. She said, By using innovative, 3D culture systems, live imaging and force sensors, we can map the mechanobiology of these interactions. This will help us develop new approaches for enhancing fertility treatments and ovarian health during the aging process. She added, Our mission is not just to make discoveries, but also to translate them into technologies that can benefit society by helping to prevent, diagnose and treat human diseases. MBI will also be collaborating with teams from the National University Hospital, Nanyang Technological University, the Agency for Science, Technology and Research and Overseas Institutions. In separate research at MBI, Assistant Professor Suyushi Harashima and his team are using intravital tissue imaging to peek into the dynamics of sperm and egg maturation, a study that could also be translated into reversing reproductive aging and fertility treatment. This is especially important in Singapore, where more couples are having babies later in life and the country's total fertility rate is plunging. The birth rate for Singapore in 2023 was 8. 34 births per 1,000 people, a 0.95% decline from 8.42 in 2022. MBI also aims to apply mechanobiology in medical diagnoses and treatments and is working with doctors and industrial partners in the development of diagnostic kits. Another team is using mechanobiology to develop sensitive, easy-to-use immunodiagnostic platforms with the potential to diagnose cancer and aging diseases such as Alzheimer's. Based on this technology, the team has developed rapid test kits for COVID-19 and antibodies produced from a past infection or from recent vaccination against the virus. Each test, using just a finger prick blood droplet, can be completed within 30 minutes. This test kit can detect the nucleocapsid proteins at a concentration 100 times lower than most of the currently applied COVID-19 rapid test kits. We have been working with industrial collaborators for the commercialization of these test kits, said Professor Yan Jie, the principal investigator. One of the projects is a sensitive finger prick blood test that measures the level of antibodies against COVID-19 within 30 minutes. ST Photo, Shintero Tei. The kits will be developed for use at home and will be as affordable as an antigen rapid test kit. Over the next seven years, the National Research Foundation funding will also be used to support MBI's talent development. The institute aims to train 20 doctoral students 
in interdisciplinary science through its graduate program. It will also institute a new postdoctoral fellow training program to identify and develop talented scientists to conduct both basic and translational research, which takes a broader and more collaborative approach. By leveraging new knowledge generated over the course of this grant, we will develop biomedical innovations and interventions aimed at improving healthy longevity in the population. Professor Lee said, We strive to be a world leader in this area. We are already one of the leading centers in that we have published some of the more important work in this area in the last 10 to 15 years with a large number of very high-impact peer-reviewed publications. We also want to be a major hub for the international research community in mechanobiology.